Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a flip through of this journal today. It is currently in my Etsy shop. It's been there for um, a couple days. I just didn't get around to the video until today. It's nine by six with a two inch spine and I did this cute charm that is removable with this um, ring right here. If you would like to take it off to work in. It has three signatures and about 180 pages. It is probably going to be the last summer journal that I do because I'm kind of feeling like getting into maybe some fall journals or getting ready for Halloween. I'm getting that fall Halloween-y itch already. And then I also have to make my next personal journal and I have a journal that my mom has requested. So probably this will be it for the summer journals. This is some this is a book page from a vintage book. This belly band right there. I did some sewing on the edges and on some of the pages. And I used some Tim Holtz paper. I love this double sided Tim Holtz paper. Here's a tag that I made. Made a few of them. Then I just put some white gesso on the back so that you can write on it. Cute little vintage photograph, which I believe is just a printout. Did some coffee dyed paper, a little bit of stamping and stenciling in it. There's a tuck spot right there. This flips out. This is a little tuck spot here. There's a tuck spot with some ephemera in it. I used the that lacy um, material that I have on the front throughout it for coordinating purposes. There's another tag. I tried not to attach everything so you can move things around, put them where you want them. That's what I always do. It's a little envelope right there. Another belly band with some vintage field notes book in it. Another tuck spot in that direction. This flips out. The center of this signature. It's another tag that I made. Oh yeah, that's covering the brad there. Some more stenciling. This is a double tuck spot right here, this tag. I just inked around the edges. Tuck spot. So that button onto the little piece of fabric right there and then glued it on. I love putting tabs on my journals. I've been putting them on just about every journal lately. There's another tag. And this is a vintage uh, photograph and it was in a little bit rough shape. So I actually just glued it onto this page and it looks great, I love it. Some more sewing around the edge there. Some ephemera in here. I usually always put these little tabby spots down there so the pages don't fall out, the papers don't fall out when you're using it. Duck spot there. Some more of that Tim Holtz paper. Here's a tuck spot. I just did like a kind of like a card. You could write your journaling in there. More of that lace. I love this material. I think I might do another journal where I have like a plain background and then cover it entirely with this over top of it. I have a lot of ideas floating around in my noggin at any time. Tuck spot there. 
from a coffee dyed paper. And this is another one of the tags that I put the white gesso on the back so you can write on it. Another tag, a tuck spot, and that is actually the back of the journal, or the end of the journal. This is the back of the journal. All right, thank you for watching, and if you're interested, this journal is in my Etsy shop. Take care and stay safe, everyone.